Hi. Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about a new pro feature we recently added to Superpower Chat GPT. It's the right click, um, one of the right click uh, features that allows you to basically send a screenshot of any page to Chat GPT. Now, before we start to use Superpower Chat GPT, you need to go to Google, search for Superpower Chat GPT, click on the first link. It will send you to this page where you see a button that says Add to Chrome. Click on Add to Chrome and it will add the extension to your browser. Once you add the extension to your browser, you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page, and it will load all the features of the extension uh, inside ChatGPT, like the folders and like the tone selector and all the other features. Now in this video, I wanna talk about the right click uh, feature. Now we previously added this feature that basically allowed you to go to any page, select some text, and right click on it, click go to the Superpower Chat GPT menu, and then you would see all of your favorite prompt here. Basically, what this does is um, it, um, let's say you select like a longer text, like this paragraph, you click on it, you click on go here, click on summarize, and what it does, it, it will send all of that text to Chat GPT followed by your favorite prompt that you selected from the list. Let's say you select summarize, it will basically summarize that text inside ChatGPT. You can have as many favorite prompts as you want and like you, your favorite prompts are the prompts that you see here. Uh, as a reminder, you go to the prompt manager and you can just click on the star on any of the, like your prompt and it will just add that, let's say I just do this, it will add that to my favorite prompt, the one-click book writer, for example, and at the same time, it will also add it to the right-click menu, one one-click book writer, so it's already added to the right-click. Now, we already had this feature, and it would allow you to just send text to ChatGPT. The feature we, we just recently added that I wanna talk about today, um, is the screenshot feature. So it basically allows you to right click on any page in your browser and click on a button and it will take a screenshot of the page It will send it to ChatGPT and then you can talk to um, ChatGPT about that picture. Now to use this feature, you right click on any page, again, go to Superpower ChatGPT Pro menu and you see a button here that says send a screenshot to ChatGPT. If you haven't used this feature before and it's the first time you're using it, Instead of seeing that button, you see a button that says allow to send a screenshot to ChatGPT. And the reason for that is uh, taking a screenshot of the page requires one extra permission and you have to give the right click menu that permission to take that screenshot. But once you do that for the first time, uh, it just works every time after that. You don't have to give that permission anymore. So I'm gonna run this um, for you one, one time just so you see what it does. But um, basically you just like click on the page and then uh, right click on the page and open the Superpower Chat GPT menu and then click on send a screenshot to Chat GPT. I'm gonna do that. And it will automatically, if you have a ChatGPT tab open, it will just go to that that tab. If you don't have any open, it will open a new tab and just upload the picture in there. Um, now, one thing about this feature is that um, I've heard some people saying that uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, one of the reasons that this might not work is maybe like if, if you have multiple tabs of ChatGPT open and you try to send a screenshot to ChatGPT, it will, it will send it to one of those tabs. So you have to, if you have multiple tabs open, you have to look at every tab that you have open and find out which one it sent it to. It's usually the first tab, the first one that you have open, but um, it might be hard to find that one. So I recommend if you wanna use this feature, uh, if you use it and it doesn't work, make sure you don't have multiple tabs open or make sure you check every chat GPT tab that you have open or just close all chat GPT tabs and just have one tab open and just um, use that one tab. Now you can see the image is added to my conversation. I can click on it. I can, you can see that it's like a full screenshot of the page I was looking at. And I can just like um, ask ChatGPT anything about this page, like what um, is on this page. And I will just like very quickly um, 
look at the page and it tells me explain the picture and everything. So it's a very quick and easy way to send um, a screenshot of any page to ChatGPT. Another cool thing you can do about it is that you can even send a screenshot of ChatGPT to ChatGPT. So I can even right click here and just select the same button, send a screenshot to ChatGPT and boom, it just uploaded a screenshot of the full page right there and i can ask question about the content of the page let's say about the folders about the conversation anything i want i can also kind of like talk to chat gpt with a screenshot of chat gpt so so this is um the new pro feature with right click sending a screenshot um we are planning to add more um, functionalities to the right click feature for example like if you right click on a on an image or if you right click on like a like a link or things like that we are thinking about like adding a few extra functionality to the right click menu so stay tuned there will be more features added to the right click menu uh, but for now these are the two features we have selecting text and sending a full screenshot we might even add a feature that allows you to like send it like because right now when you send a screenshot it's just what you're seeing um maybe if you can you just send a full screenshot of the full page without you having to scroll down i don't know if that's possible or not but something to think about but yeah um this is the the new feature uh, let me know if you have any questions thank you